And here's your Beano Town weather forecast. Cloudy all week with a chance of clouds this weekend. Boring! It's the Beano Town Founders Day bonfire tomorrow, so get ready for the gravy toss, Pelta Vicar, and our famous Beano Town homemade jam off. More, more boring! And in breaking news, a mysterious bat creature was spotted yesterday in Beano Town Ooh, Park. Still boring! What? Bat creature? Awesome! Nasha, let's go! We gotta catch it! Dennis, you are not catching a bat. They're dangerous. But, Dad, it's not a bat. It's a bat creature. Sit and eat your breakfast. That's an order. What do you think, Nasha? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. We need to investigate. Now, if I was a bat creature, where would I hide? <laughs> what is he, boy? <laughs> Bloody footprints! Bat creature! Nasha, you know what this means! There's a vampire in Beano Town! Pieface, you're the vampire expert. How do we catch it? Uh, according to issue number four of Lord Tim, Vampire Destroyer, vampires only come out when the sun goes down, hate garlic, and can be destroyed with a stake through the heart. <laughs> hey! What about running water? Isn't that supposed to do something? Well, in issue number 12, Lord Tim melts a bunch of vampires in a jacuzzi by splashing them. A jacuzzi might be hard to lug around, but splashing people with water... We can manage that! Water soakers full! Full! Oh. Now, the vampire could be anyone, so remember... Soak first, ask questions later. Let's get them! about that. Uh, we thought you were somebody else. Yeah, vampires! Vamp! Oh! You boys come here right now! Uh-oh! Run! <laughs> Guess the water didn't work. Those are tough vampires, eh? <laughs> I don't know about this vampire hunting thing. Where are you guys going? Mum wants me home early to help stir her gravy. For the gravy toss. She really wants to win this year. First prize is a hat made of potatoes. A potato hat? Come on, you can get one of those anywhere. <gasps> <gasps> is that...? Yeah, a coffin. What this means? The Colonel's the vampire! <gasps> Starch me civvies! Uh, um, uh, get him! <laughs> You've trespassed on private property. Explain yourselves. Well, uh, we, um, uh, I, uh, his parents want to. Invite you to dinner! Yeah, they... Want to what? Why would they want to do that? Uh, you know, to say thank you for keeping us all safe with the Neighbourhood Watch and for um, all your... all your great stories and um, clean clothes. Well, I have been out late these last few nights. You know, watching the Neighbourhood. Haven't had a good hot meal in days. 
Yeah, except for people. Great! So you'll come. See ya. Dinner with me parents? Terrific. What are you going to do, Dan? Don't panic. I've got an idea. Oh, I'll get one. <laughs> Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. I invited the Colonel for dinner. Did he just say... Yes, thanks for the dinner invitation. When Dennis practically begged me to come, I was quite touched. He begged you? Our Dennis? Hope you're ready for a long night, because I'm a slow digester. Hi, Face. You said something earlier about garlic. In issue 425, Lord Tim defeats a bunch of Italian vampires by using their own pasta against them. Fresh bread! Get it while it's hot! <coughs> What's the matter? Don't you like garlic? <coughs> Water! <coughs> oh, no! Let me help you! <coughs> Get that away! Mirror! <coughs> Aha! Don't like mirrors either! That settles it! Nasha, attack! <coughs> Dennis, what's got into you? Have you lost your mind? But, Mum, Dad, he's... A... March right over to the Colonel's and apologise. Now! We'll just have to show him ourselves. <laughs> there he is. Hello? I could use some help out here. Look. Right, uh, sorry. Just cleaning up. Looks like we've got two to tackle then. I've got dibs on Walter. Hello, 
Ron? Hello, Dennis. <laughs> Nip is competing in the big dog show in the park. You want to enter Nasher too? I don't know, Gran. Duck shows aren't really Nash's thing. <coughs> There'll be lots of other dogs there. <coughs> nah, he still doesn't fancy it. It's sponsored by Butch Butcher. There's a load of sausages for the winner. <coughs> <laughs> That'll be a yes, then. <laughs> Dennis, this is the competitor's entrance. Yeah, so? Well, I hardly think your mouse is fit to compete. <laughs> All this other mongrel. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, check these out. Official entry forms for Nasha and Nipper. <sighs> Honestly, they're letting in any old riff-raff these days. Now that's more like it. Look at Miss Miniwoof. Just the kind of classy dog we want in the show. Uh, uh, hello, Athena. Uh, hello, Miss Miniwoof. <laughs> oh, Walter, can't you get rid of those creatures? Cheek. Who do they think they are? Exactly. Oh, come on, Walter. Let us in. I suppose I'll have to. But keep those two away from the other pedigree contestants. We don't want them all catching fleas. Ladies and gentlemen, we come to the talent section of the show to be judged by the mayor, Mrs. Creature, and of course our sponsor, Butch Butcher, purveyor of Beano Town's finest sausages. Please welcome our first competitor. Mrs. Bonzilla Barkington Wagstaff and Los Chihuahuas Bonzilleros. <laughs> right, Nasha and Nipper. Talent? Ooh, let me see. Uh, dirt magnets? <laughs> <laughs> They've got plenty of talent. They're going to wipe the floor with the other dogs. <laughs> Judging by their appearance, it looks as if you've wiped the floor with them. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the way they look. Hmm. Well, it's my job to marshal the contestants. Any infringement of the rules by these two, and they'll be out. <laughs> They scored nine out of ten for pedigree in the first round. And I'd give them at least eight for originality. Don't you think, Mr Butcher? Oh, um, uh, I think they must have been too small to see. That's what chihuahuas are, Mr Butcher. Very small. No, I mean, uh, I've lost my glasses. Oh, uh, I had them a minute ago. Good luck, Athena. And you, Miss Miniwolf. I hope you win. And now the height of fashion, Athena Kane and Miss Miniwoof. <clears throat> Very stylish, I think you'll agree. Wow, major talent. They can both walk without falling over. <laughs> Miss Miniwolf scored nine for pedigree. I'll uh, I'll give her six for talent. And switch. <laughs> what Nasha? That's awesome. <laughs> Standing on hind legs. Hmm. I'm not sure that's allowed. Oh, give it a rest, Walter. I'm keeping an eye on you. I loved your act, Athena. So chic. <laughs> Don't worry, Nasha. We'll show those snooty dog owners a thing or two. <laughs> Say hello to Beano Town's favourite policeman, Sergeant Slipper, and his canine cop, Biter. Biter is a highly trained law enforcement specialist. <laughs> at, uh, at the north end of the field, you will see Constable Cough Drop. 
posing as a dangerous uh, criminal perpetrator type villain. Now, watch as Biter makes the arrest. Go, boy! Apprehend that suspicious person. <laughs> Oh, oh, she's the perpetrator. <laughs> Even you're more obedient than Biter. <laughs> Pedigree was in order, but zero for talent, I think. No, I, 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 I didn't really get a good look. Um, oh. That's because you were facing the wrong way, Mr. Butcher. And now our final competitors, Nipper and uh, Nasha. <laughs> They'll probably just be chasing their own tails. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Think of the sausages. <laughs> well, Gran, if you ask me, Nasha and Nipper have the talent show in the bag. Oh, oh my goodness! Those beastly creatures might actually win! <sighs> There must be some rule against motorbike riding. Uh, oh, yes. Marvellous idea, Athena. By gosh, I, I do I do believe you're right. That motorised vehicle is exceeding the speed limit. Biter, arrest those lawbreakers. <laughs> This is not good, Gran. Not good at all, Dennis. <gasps> My poor little babies! <laughs> I knew you'd make a mockery of everything. You and your scruffy mutt! Chill out, Walter. It's only a dog show. Yes. Well, all the other dogs have got proper pedigrees. So luckily, you've got no chance of winning. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the Best in Show trophy, which has been kindly presented by Mr Butch Butcher. Oh, I wish I had my glasses. Oh. Here they are, Mr. Butcher. Remember, best in show goes to the dog with most points for talent and pedigree. Under consideration are... Police Dog Biter, Los Chihuahuas Bouncy Leros, Nasher and Nipper, and finally, Miss Miniwolf. And the winner is... Miss Miniwolf! <laughs> I knew you would do it, my poochie witchy. Oh. class of dog. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Uh, now I've found my glasses, I can see the entry form. Uh, it says here that Nasha is an Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Really? A tripe hound? The rarest breed of all? Well, that's different. Uh, bring your dog up here, boy. What? Why is that different? If you groomed your dog up occasionally, we would have seen he's a very special breed. Course he's special. He's me best mate. But that dog has no talent. Well, uh, not just your best uh, mate, but also I'm delighted to announce he's the best in show. <laughs> this is an Rage. Come on, sweetie. We don't need this stupid dog show anyway. I don't believe it. This has to be some kind of mistake. Result, Nasha. You rule. <laughs> <laughs> Then. 
and he's good. Ah! Oh, I'll say, what a team! Oi, <laughs> <laughs> Walter, look what you've done to our ball. Your ball? Look what you've done to our clothes. Yeah, well, whatever, Walter. <laughs> How dare he? I'll whatever him. Hand me the bumper book of rules, Bertie. Ah, <laughs> uh, ha! Huh. As I thought. Uh, Mr. Balls, there's an emergency at the football field. Oi! Uh, what's this all about? Oh, I was having my lunch. Dennis is blatantly breaking the rules about playing football in the park. You called me down here for that. But it clearly states that when playing soccer in Beano Town Park, Rule 67A, dogs may not play in goal. It's the rules. Rules? This is my park and I make the rules. But... Uh... That, that, this grass is for playing football. So if you're not playing, get off! Well said, Parky. Maybe your lot should play a bit more sport instead of poking your noses into other people's business. I don't know. Here we come round. Well, I never. Walter, play footy. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not like you know anything about football. <laughs> I know plenty, actually. I could play if I wanted. Yeah, right. Of course you could. <laughs> uh, right. I will. In fact, my team will take on yours next Saturday, right here. OK, you're on. Right. And the rules are, uh, most runs wins. Goals is how it usually works, Walter. <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, we can't play football. I believe it's called soccer. And whatever it takes, we will win. First, we study the enemy. Oh, some save, Nasher! OK, boys, let's take a break. So, what do you reckon, then? Walter's team will be a pushover, won't it? Should be, Curly. But you know Walter. He's always got some sneaky scheme up his sleeve. Well, I may not know much about soccer, but even I can see that Nasher's good. What have you found out? Well, apparently, it is goals, not runs. And the chap who scores most of them is called a striker. So I suppose we need one of them. Anyone for one of Butch Butcher's veggie sausage bites? Don't worry, Dudley. I'll find us a striker. And you've just given me an idea how to solve the Nasher problem, too. <laughs> uh... What are we doing, Walter? I found our striker, the school new boy, David Peckham. Oh, hi, David. Ready for the trial? Uh -huh. oh, that's good enough for us. See you next Saturday. Uh -huh. Right, we've strengthened our attack. Now to weaken their defence. <laughs> All right, boys. Practice makes perfect. When you're ready. Ugh. Two! Uh, uh. Three! Ugh. Best goalie ever! No matter what tricks Walter pulls, we can't lose! There you go, Walter. Five dozen super fat sausages, double cooked in fat. Thanks, Mr. Butcher. They look Perfect. Uh, you've got enough there to feed a football team. Or at least a goalie. Nasha! <laughs> 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 Oi! Uh, who, who, who did that? <laughs> We're supposed to stop it! <laughs> That's right! Eat up, Nasha! <laughs> Almost caught by Slippery, Nasha. 
Oh, I guess you're just getting old. Don't worry, boy. I'll always love you, whatever happens. <laughs> Hi, Nasha. Ready for fun? <laughs> Something's not right here. Still a few more days to the match, and by that time, Nash will be the size of a rhino! <laughs> Face facts, then. He's definitely slowed down. And it's not long to our match with Walter. Curly, we could beat Walter and his mates with our feet tied together. Yeah, but like you said, he might have something sneaky up his sleeve. Don't worry. Nash has still got it, haven't you, boy? Come on, old pal. Do your stuff. Oh, Den, this is bad. Hey, Walter, ready to give up yet? Give up? <laughs> I don't think so. Mind if I have a go? Nasha, wake up! <laughs> Golly, is that a girl? <laughs> Pyface, you're right. This is bad. What is it, boy? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> hey, get off, Soppy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> ah -ha! You've been nobbled. Don't worry, Nasha. It's not your fault. Everyone knows you're a sucker for sausages. You go ahead. You could do with some fresh air. I'll uh, <clears throat> catch up with you. Walter, just as I thought. One hundred and four per cent fat. Bon appetit, Nasha. <laughs> Strong. <laughs> that, my boy. Now let's concentrate on getting you fit again. Sneaky. Poor old Nasha couldn't resist. But he's given them up and we've done some intensive training. Wah! So, he's back on form now. Hang on. That's a new kid, David Peckham. I told you Walter would do something sneaky. Ah, oh, Dennis, you've met our new striker, David Peckham. And how's your star goalkeeper? Fine, thanks. In fact, he's as fit as a butcher's sausage. Oh, uh, I mean dog. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? Huh. Still, I bet he's not fit enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Is that all your striker's got? <laughs> nice try, Walter, but nobody messes with our goalie. What? You knew? Of course I did. Nash is my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what do you think of this then, Nash? Skateboarding without the effort. Okay, hold tight. What is it, Nasha? 
Ой! Хулиган! for our new kitchen curtains. Look. Oh, yes. Very nice, dear. And it was the very last piece they had. It's perfect. I'll have my dream kitchen at last. Oh, you haven't got far with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm. All right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! <sighs> One other thing, dear. Uh, yeah. Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. <laughs> no. What we need is a big sail, so we can go really fast! <coughs> Dad! I want to make a sail for my skateboard! Got any ideas? Why, <sighs> what? So perfect, years, and now look at it, ruined. Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't. I'm confiscating it. It's a danger to public safety, and so are you. But you can't do that. It's not yours. Can't I? Watch me. No, wait. Hello, Dennis. Where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. <laughs> well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. <laughs> Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. 
So, the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. He's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now, if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Nasha? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <sighs> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh dear. would love to help, wouldn't you? Of course, Dad. Go and get the material then, son. Oh, no. Not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think? Oh, oh no! <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. First day of the holidays, and it seems Dennis has finally discovered the joys of having a lie-in. Ah! Quarter to eight! Wait! Bye, Mum! Bye, Dad! Dennis, your breakfast! <laughs> Dennis! Have you made me face, washed me bed, changed me hair, combed me underpants? Yeah. But why all the rush? First day of the halls, Mum! Got 
to get out early and do stuff before the town gets to... ..busy. We are not waiting in that. OK, no worries. I got a plan. Stand aside, folks. Stand aside. Official business. Oi, who are you? Government taste inspectors, sir. Ice cream division. Well, uh, that was a kid's bus pass. Ah, uh, uh, that's cos we're undercover. Undercover? You just told me who you were. Look, are you gonna let us taste inspect your ice cream or do I have to call for backup? <laughs> Hang on. Ain't you the dopey one what hangs around with Dennis? Don't be daft. He doesn't wear glasses like these. Oops. Oh, maybe try the zoo instead? <laughs> OK, no worries. I got a plan. Run, I say! His ferocious jaws will tear your limb from... <laughs> limb. Fun fair? Oh, oh, I know this bit. You got a flan. Right, Dan? Plan, pie face. I got a plan. Never again! Those rides were way too extreme! Yeah, wouldn't go in there unless you like being really sick! <laughs> wow, cool! Let's do it. Oh, OK. Looks like this may require some serious thought. Is that Neptune or Uranus? So, actually, if we want to be sure we don't have to wait around tomorrow, the easiest thing would be to get rid of everyone in Beano Town. So, easy in the sense of really, really hard, then? If people were pies, that'd be easy. Come on, guys! Ideas! How do you vanish 10,000 people? Ha! Once again, Genius wears a striped sweater. Excellent. Not a star out of place. Just the way I like it. <gasps> What's that? Whoa. Looks like an asteroid. And it's heading straight for Beano Town. Polish me, kit bag. I think you're right. Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision. Better alert the Neighbourhood Watch. Neighbourhood Watch here. Red alert, Corporal. We have a 196. Repeat, a 196. Impending Armageddon via asteroid collision? Are you sure, sir? Positive. Sound the alarm, lad. Repeat, this is not a drill. Beano Town must be evacuated immediately. Dennis, B. We're in the car, Dad. <laughs> OK, let's go! <laughs> now that is what I call extreme menacing. Better get some sleep, Nasha, cos tomorrow we've got Beano Town to ourselves! <laughs> well, lads, who's for ice cream? Uh, Dan, minor problem. Uh, there's no one to serve us. So we leave some money and serve ourselves. How hard can it be? Uh, OK, look for some kind of big squirty lever thingy. Go! found a big squirty lever thingy. Ash, 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 ash. Uh, Den, isn't that the... Handbrake! <laughs> Uh-oh, we've got customers. Customers? We can't have customers. Everybody's... 
I think he wants more. <laughs> yes, it was just lucky for us all I had this with me last night. Uh, what's that there, Colonel? Well, starch me, civvies. I do believe I've been deceived. What? But who would do something like that? Dennis, do you know? I don't like to think what they'll do when we run out of ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Got a plan. Come on. Four coins, please. <laughs> oh, look, there you go. On the house. Now clear off. You're killing my business. Result. in a couple of days, and without Curly on drums, even Walter's soppy trio will sound better than us. <laughs> Sorry, Nasha. But what's more important than band practice? I don't know. He's been acting weird ever since he started collecting boobips. What bips? Boobips. You know, they're on TV. Boobips are cool. They're lots of fun. Make sure you collect them. Oh, right then. 
Um, so what do you reckon Curly's up to then? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Time for Operation Curly Watch. <laughs> cool. <laughs> the boo bit. But why? But what? That's what we're going to find out, Pie Face. Come on! Good news. OK, I'll come over right away. Come on! We've got to follow him. Who's he going to meet? Oh, I hope it's not a girl. He's going to your house, then. No, he's not. He's going to Walter's! <laughs> so, is everything going according to plan, Walter? <laughs> I'll say. I told Curly the cafe was giving away boobips, and he rushed over there right away. Missed band practice again. <laughs> oh, goody. Without Curly, the din makers will be hopeless. <laughs> Even more hopeless than usual. <laughs> exactly. And without them lowering the tone, the undisputed stars of the school concert will be the Walter Chamber Trio. Ha <laughs> 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 Jolly <Top> good. <laughs> <gasps> Shh. Here he comes. Uh, hello, Curly. Uh, how are you? Uh, OK. Uh, I can't stop. I've got to get home to settle my new boo bip in with his pals. You said you had some good news? Yes, indeed. Thanks to Father's connections, I shall be taking delivery tonight. And can I have a good look at it and and play with it a bit? Of boo course, Bip Curly Bob. Yeah, boo, OK. Uh, but... I don't believe it! Curly and Walter! Friends! <laughs> It's like Walter has got Curly under a spell. Did you hear them talking gobbledygook? Yeah, I couldn't understand it. That's because it was gobbledygook, Pie Face. Oh, right. Anyway, it sounds like Walter's getting something Curly wants and it's being delivered tonight. And we're going to find out what it is. OK, everyone, you know the drill. I'm not sure how long I can hold this tent. Don't worry, Pie Face. This shouldn't take long. A warm wind boobip. The rarest boobip of all. And now that you belong to me, Mr. Wanwim, I can use you to control that silly boy, Curly. This could mean the end of the Din Makers. And who knows? Perhaps even the end of Dennis. Huh. We'll see about that. <laughs> 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 No problem, Pie Face. I know what Curly wants now, and we're going to make sure he gets one. We are? Yeah. We're gonna make him the best one win boobip ever. Three eyes, eight legs, four wings, and one long tongue. Perfect. <laughs> I found him, Dan. Great. We're ready. <laughs> well, almost. Uh, hi, Curly. Hi, Dennis. Listen, we know you're collecting boo bips. Me? Oh, no way. That's mad. <laughs> Me collect boo bips. <laughs> it's kid stuff. So you'll not want the one win we got you then. Oh, no. Uh, you got me a one whim? Yep. OK, I do collect boobips. And, yes, I'd love to own a one whim. Who wouldn't? Then your wish is granted. Ta-da! <laughs> is this a 
joke. Huh? I collect authorised figures, not fakes. That's not a fake. Yeah, Dan should know. He made it. OK, it is a fake. But it's not the only fake around here, is it, Curly? What do you mean? I mean, you're supposed to be with us, not hanging out with Walter. What? I'm not... Yes, you are. We saw... Hey, since when do I need your permission to hang out with anyone? Wait, Curly! I didn't mean to... Oh, it's no good. If we're to get Curly back with us, we'll have to find him a real one, Wim. But we're still broke, then, And we're running out of time. Don't worry. We'll get the cash. We'll just have to earn it. Not bad for a few hours' work. Easily enough to buy a one win. But then, where are we going to find one to buy? Well, we know someone who's got one, don't we? We'll just make him an offer he can't refuse. Careful! It's very valuable. I know, but this is probably the nearest I'll get to owning one. Well, you can always come and play with it, as long as you behave yourself, of course. Walter, you've got guests. Oh, that'll be Bertie and Dudley. Hang Bip on, Bop Chaps. Oh, oh, it's you. What do you want? We've come to buy your one win. Really? I can't think why you'd want it. We don't. It's for our mate, Curly. I'm sorry. It's not for sale. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe you'll change your mind when you see this. <gasps> Goodness. Hang on, Dan. Where'd you get all that money? Oh, delivering magazines. I'm doing gardening. I'm walking dogs. And you did all that just for me? Hey, what are mates for? We wanted everything to be like before. Just the three of us. <laughs> and Asher, of course. You know what? Me too. Come on, let's get out of here. So long, one win boy. What? Ah! Friends for life. Pity we've got a new drummer. What? <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go practice. The din makers are back in business and ready to rock and roll. I knew it. They've ruined the tone of the whole evening. Well done, son. You certainly rocked out. Played well. Thanks, Dad. It's been a great day all round. Yeah, we're all back together. The concert rocked. And we've still got all that money, too. Ah, yes, about that, Dennis. I've had a call from Sergeant Slipper. You have? Yes, about your fundraising efforts. Apparently, all the magazines were damaged and you broke a mains water pipe in Mrs Creature's garden and all the dogs had to go to the groomers. And I'm afraid everyone wants full compensation. Well, Mum, that's rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>